Hey everyone, Tesla just announced uh, all the details about the version 9 software, so let's take a look at it. To start, they enhanced the Tesla navigation. The turn-by-turn -turn directions were moved to the left side, making them easier to read. The highway exit details were added. Uh, you can now tap or pull down to see additional details in the full trip overview. The navigation settings are now more easily accessed via a gear icon. Traffic conditions uh, have been restyled with red and yellow outlines to better identify the specific type of traffic. Lastly, there's now HOV lane support, which when enabled, will cause the navigation system to use them when they are available. The phone icon has been replaced with an app launcher icon that gives you access to six applications, including calendar, energy, web browser, camera, charging, and your phone app. The Energy app is the same as the Model S Energy app with real-time energy usage and for trips, projected energy usage. The web app is a full web browser with the ability to save your favorite websites. You can just sweep up to just go to your favorite app. The Calendar app syncs with your phone calendar. If appointments have a location, you can tap it to quickly navigate to that location. If an appointment has a phone number, it can quickly dial into it. I'm not quite sure if the media players changed much for the Model 3. This is the small screen, then they have the mid-size screen. Uh, it looks like the recents and favorites are divided, uh, so they're both displayed at the same time. Also notice your input is uh, inputs are listed along the bottom and available at all times, and this is the full screen. There's two new media settings, one to turn off uh, explicit lyrics, and another DJ commentary button for hearing music news on streaming stations. So under controls, uh, you used to have to have like under the safety and security, you only had these two settings, then you'd had to click the gear to see all the other settings. Now with V9, everything's gonna be just in a scrollable uh, region. Here's the same control page in V9. Notice there's no gear and you can scroll. There's also a new setting to toggle the rear seat belt alerts to mark them as child seats. Lastly, under controls, there's a new navigation option, but I haven't found out what's under there. The climate and seat controls have been redesigned completely. Here's the V8 controls, and here are the new V9 controls. You can adjust the temperature just by sliding left and right uh, along the bottom. The airflow has been totally redesigned with a better visualization so you can see where the air uh, is being directed to and then the seat controls haven't changed too much but there is an all-off uh, option. Another new feature is the obstacle aware acceleration. Your acceleration will now be automatically reduced if an obstacle is detected in front of the car while driving at low speeds. So if you're at a stop sign and a car in front of you and you accidentally like just try to punch it with that car there, it will not run into that car. The new blind spot monitoring feature turns the lane line red if it detects a car in your blind spot when you turn on your turn signal. Tesla is now using all eight cameras to detect cars 360 degrees around the car, and they're now identifying cars by uh, the car type, truck, motorcycles, pedestrians. It can even detect bicyclers and pedestrians. The Tesla mobile app has been improved so that if you're using like Google Maps, you can share your navigation and that will be downloaded into your Tesla. So when you get in the car, it's all there. Passengers can now control the media player with, these, with this mobile media player app. If that wasn't enough, Tesla is now allowing us to record the dash cam front, front facing cameras to a USB drive. Well, that's my summary of V9 for a Tesla Model 3. I can't wait to get it. I wait every morning to see if uh, there's a uh, software download waiting to be uh, installed. This is the Reddit mega thread on the uh, V9 release. Lots of good information here. Hey, thanks for watching. If you want to see some of my other Model 3 videos, they're here in the top right. And I just created a new channel, Nick's Pickleball Life, for my pickleball adventures. Check it out. If you're interested in purchasing a Tesla, you can use my referral code and get unlimited free supercharging. Uh, and please don't forget to subscribe. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye.